Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to create this portrait of a hamster bursting through some paper. Okay, our first step is going to be to cut a piece of paper the same size as our drawing paper. And then we have to create the hole in the center of our portrait. So I'm going to do that by folding my paper and tearing it. So when you tear, you hold it between your fingers like this and just do a little tear. Just like that. Then open your paper up, turn it the opposite way and tear it again. So we've made a little T in the middle. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down the edges of my paper bag to the paper. I don't want to put too much glue because I want to be able to draw in the center. So we're just going to put it at the very edges all the way around. Put a little more in the corners to hold our paper flat. We don't want to glue the table, so you want to be careful not to glue too close to the edge. And there we go. big circle. So we're keeping this part no glue, this part lots of glue. And then I'm going to turn my paper over and line it up with my drawing paper. And I'm going to smooth it out just at the edges. few wrinkles are totally fine. Smooth that out. You really want to press down and make sure everything's glued down. If we need a little more glue in the corners, you have your glue stick. Take out your trusty glue stick and just stick a little bit of glue. Okay. Now we need to create our hole for our hamster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little corner I'm going to start rolling it with my fingers. You can actually, you can actually rip that again if you want it. You can really make it circular. Roll this out from the center to the corner, just like that. Now take another piece. Take your fingers. It's okay if it tears. You don't want to tear it off. You want to keep the paper attached. And you're just going to make a nice nice opening for our hamster to be peeking out of. Just like that. Okay, roll this piece. You can continue tearing it to make it a bigger area. Keep rolling it so we can see like a quarter of a circle here, right? Now we're going to start on this side. We have to tear up, make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Keep rolling the paper away from the center, ripping off little pieces, rolling until you feel like you have enough room to create your hamster. I actually like that the King Cullen peeking out a little bit there. Okay, I think that's enough. I can always tear more if I need it. Okay, now I have a nice big opening. Here we go, here's the original. And here's my white space. What I would do first is I would write my artist's signature on my paper before I forget. And then we'll begin our portrait. You're going to be working in pencil to start and I'll start in pencil too but in a video a lot of times it's hard to see so I'll be quickly moving over to Sharpie. The first thing I'm going to start with is the, the eyes. I'm going to make two little circles in the center. Then I want to figure out where I'm going to put my nose. So in between these eyes, you don't want it too high. I'm going to move down, down. This is where my nose is going to go. 
And then we'll have my little mouth over here below. We're going to put our hands right here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of planning out where I'm putting my hamster and sketching it out with pencil. And I will be going over this in Sharpie, like I said, as I draw. And then the shape of the head, we're going to start like this is the bottom of the shape of the head where the mouth is. So we want to go around like this. Let me press harder so that you can see that. See that? Then I'll put an ear on this side and an ear on this side. Then we'll have the rest of the body from the ear coming down like this. My hand's a little bigger. So I've plotted out where I want my hamster. And you can see this hamster, the hands are a little bit different position. It's a little bit side view. Uh, you can certainly look at pictures of hamsters or take your actual hamster and use your actual hamster as a model. And you can look at what position you want. But this is like a nice central position. It's a little bit easier. Now I'm going to take my Sharpie. And the only part I'm using my Sharpie for are the eyes because we really want those to kind of really stand out and look like, like hamster eyes. So I'm going to go over this. It's not exactly a circle. It's kind of a half circle because they're kind of bulging out from the side of the head. I want to make sure I leave a little bit of light in my eye. So add a little circle and be careful not to fill it in with Sharpie. If you do, you can always use a little bit of white out or paint just to add that little sparkle. And we have our eyes. Now, the rest of my drawing is pretty much done with colored pencils. I don't have to outline everything. I'm going to use my colored pencils to create the texture of the fur of the hamster. So let me just kind of erase some of this so I don't have it under because the hamster is very light. And I don't want to see all of the lines. I apologize if this makes it difficult to see in the video, but just follow along with the colored pencils. We'll leave those shavings on. Okay, so I'm going to start with my lightest colors first. So that means I'm going to start with yellow. And using my yellow, I'm going to very lightly draw the lines. I'm actually going to press a little bit harder, so hopefully that you can see. You should press very lightly because you want your hamster to stay very light. We'll add the shadows as we go. And get that yellow. So you can see I start in the middle, and you'll see this when I work with darker colors. And I, I move in a motion away from the nose, away from the nose to the edge of the head, and then away from the neck to the edge of the body this way. There might be some areas that are left white on your hamster. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of orange. Because I don't have, I'm trying to use the colors that we have in the art room. Uh, if you have peach at home and you're doing this, peach would be better probably. But I want to very lightly add some orange. I'm going to do it, like I said, a little bit darker so that you can see. These are the lines that I'm doing. You want to press very lightly so that you can get this peach color. But I'm just kind of showing you where I'm adding and the shape that I'm adding, the orange. Okay, and away from here. So you can see the direction of the lines. It's away from the neck. It's away from the nose. And they're small lines because it's a small animal. Although this is a pretty big portrait of a hamster. If our hamster saw this hamster, it would be like, what? It's huge. Okay, now I'm going to add some pink highlights for 
the little nose and the hands and the mouth. So when I do that, I color the nose pink. I can add some shadows later. And I kind of, there's a little bit of pigmentation on the actual snout. So you could see the nose is pink, but then there's a little bit of pink coloring on the snout, which goes up a little bit. The hands, I can, I'm gonna draw them in pink so that you can kind of see them. They're gonna be clasping one another. So I have one, two, three, four little clawed fingers. And then on this side, one, two, three, four. Okay. And you can add a little mouth. There. Already starting to look like a hamster. Next, I'm going to use my browns to add some shadows. Again, do this very lightly because this hamster is a light color, but I'm going to do it a little bit darker so that you can see. Oh, you know what? I want to add some pink in the ears as well because we have a little bit of pink in the ears. Okay, so using my light brown, I'm gonna add the lines on the side to add some shadow. I wanna leave the snout lighter and I wanna add them where I would see shadow. So around this, around the nose, I wanna leave kind of white there. Maybe around the eyes a little bit, we'll give a little dimension. We want a lot of shadow underneath this head because the head's coming out and there's a shadow right underneath here. It's not as hard as you thought. And there we go. Not as difficult. Okay, now I'm going to add another shade of brown. This is an even darker shade of brown because I really want to exaggerate some of these shadows right under the mouth here. Just a little bit to make it really kind of pop out. I'm also going to just lightly shade in. If you don't have a pink, you can use um, red, just very little pressure on the red and, and white on top. Okay. Add a little more. Okay. Now to blend this together, you can actually use a white colored pencil. I'm actually going to try to erase some more of the pencil lines so that it's not so gray. Eraser will erase colored pencils, so you might have to go back in with some color. But if things were too dark, like I said, I was going pretty dark to exaggerate so you could see in the video. If something is too dark and you don't like it, then erase it. It will definitely lighten it. It won't take all of the color off, but it will lighten a bit of it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of detail on the nose. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna continue a little more brown. There we go. And a little more brown here. Really tried to make this one lighter than my last subject here. You also wanna add some more shadows in the hands in between them to really exaggerate that they're there. Now my 
hamster really will come more alive when I start blending some of these colors in. It lightens it. It also kind of gets rid of the white spots a little bit because it pushes the color out. And the portrait is complete. Oh, there's so many shavings in there. Um, what I added in this one were some details that a hamster might like. So this really gives you some creativity to be able to draw things that your hamster likes to play with or do, or just some doodles to tell us about your hamster. Maybe you want to make up a fairy tale or a story that features your hamster, and you can kind of doodle that and draw that in your background, and then outline it with a black Sharpie. And my artwork is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what you create.